Hello guys, welcome back to another video. This is going to be a few days in my life in dental school during midterms week. If you've been watching for a while, I try to always film during midterms and final season just so people that are anticipating going to dental school can kind of know what it's like and how it's changed from first year to second year to now being a third year. So that's what you can look forward to in this video. So today is Tuesday. I actually just got back this morning from visiting my boyfriend in Indiana. I left super early. I woke up at 4.45 and drove back here because it's a four hour drive. And it is now 10.20 and I need to go to school in a second. I just got back, ate lunch, ordered some food for a club meeting that I have tonight, and then got dressed, put away any of the things that I had brought over the weekend. That way it's a little less hectic when I get back later and finished all that just in time. I'm gonna head into school, like I said, to assist my roommate on an appointment where she is going to be sectioning a bridge off of a patient. So the patient needs one of the teeth that's involved in the bridge extracted. So therefore they need to kind of cut it so that that part can be pulled out without pulling out the other tooth that's the other abutment of the bridge. So so that should be in theory quick and then I have my own appointment at 2 p.m. where I am delivering the digital bite splint that I scanned. So I can talk a little bit more about that later in the video because I don't want the intro to be too long but let's get into my day. Currently logged on for our school-wide student council meeting. I'm just in like a conference room on the ground floor and then I'm gonna go over to Bible study, which is like down the hall as soon as this is over, but we have to have a representative from each student organization at the school-wide student council meeting. So I'm doing that for CDA. And then there's actually like a bunch of us from ASDA on here. So ASDA is well, well covered. We have dinner at Bible study. We got some cottage and pizza and salad that'll be delish. So my appointment was done around like four-ish, but then we didn't get swiped out till probably like 4.15. I just went into like the forum on the main level of the school and did some laptop stuff, replied to an email, nothing too major. The appointment I assisted on also only took like an hour and a half. So both were moderate to short lengths. The assist went well. She did a great job sectioning the bridge so the patient could get it, get one of the teeth that was part of the bridge extracted this afternoon. So hopefully that went well. I'll have to follow up with her about that. And then my appointment went well. It took longer than I would have hoped to get the bite guard to fit correctly, but it's fine. All I care about is that it did fit. Tuesday and I made myself a delicious breakfast before our exams. It is 9 right now. I slept in until 8.30 and we have remote exams at 10 and at 11 and then I need to hurry over to the school for a 12 o'clock meeting lunch experience with some of the new dental students joining our school, some of the new D1s. I was invited along with three other upperclassmen dental students to have lunch with a group of them. I think just kind of answer their questions, get to know them, stuff like that. So it should be nice and I was felt lucky to be invited to that and then I get to come home and study and relax and everything for the rest of the day and then I'm doing a new type of workout class tonight. But the first exam is head and neck anatomy which I'm probably the least prepared for and then the next one is one of our implant treatment planning classes which I feel fine about so I'm excited that the one I'm least prepared for I can get out of the way first. Hopefully it goes okay. I will update you all soon. Ok 
Okay, I am back. It is later in the evening, 8.30 already. I went to a Spenga, is the name of the workout studio class for the first time. And it was really fun. My, that's like the one my roommate likes to go to and I usually go to barcode. But it's a spin strength yoga class in 50 minutes. And it was really cool. I don't usually and never have done like a real spin workout. So I was a little nervous that it like would be too hard or just like I couldn't handle it but it was good it was like perfect I was dripping in sweat but like I could keep up and it was nice to like lift some heavier weights because at bar even during the strength training classes it's still no more than like 15 pounds ever so it was nice to do some heavier weights and just challenge myself in a different way so I probably will mix that in like a couple times a month through the class pass app rather than getting a membership there or the drop-in rates before that, you guys saw I was just in bed after I met with the D1s for lunch through the academic pre-orientation program. That's like what that was that I was invited to and it was really cool. I just sat with like a table of them. There was probably like four tables in there for upperclassmen dental students and then a few incoming D1s at each table and we just kind of chatted, answered their questions about dental school and it was fun to get to know them. So if any of them are watching, hi, very fun to meet you. Feel like the exam tomorrow that's at 9 a.m. in fixed prosthodontics should be fine. We've been having like weekly quizzes and I've been doing okay like B's on them. So I'm hoping I would also get like a B on the exam. Plus I'm studying more than I do for those quizzes so in theory, I should do fine. My test this morning, I can let you know how those went. The first one, I got a 26 out of 30, so I was happy about that. And then the second one, it was also 30 questions, but I don't have my score back yet. So whenever I get that, I will update you all in this video. But now I'm just gonna do some more Quizlet in bed, probably with the show in the background. I have my second remaining part of my dinner and a lovely brownie that my roommate made. So I'm just having a great night, kind of decompressing mid midterms week. Things are good. Tomorrow will be busy, 9 a.m. exam, patient assisting, then a patient. So be there until like 7.30 p.m. with that late appointment slot, five to seven. All right, back right where we were last night, except it's the morning. Happy Thursday, it's 7.45. I got up at seven and studied a little bit and ate a tiny breakfast. I'm going to change into my scrubs and get ready to go to the bus stop and bus over to school. The exam is at 9 a.m. and fix prosthodontics. And then after that, it's a pretty full day. I'm supposed to have a patient at 11 just for a cleaning. And then at 2 p.m. I'm assisting my roommate with some caries removal. And then at 2 p.m. I have my own patient again. And then at 5 p.m., so a five to seven slot, which we only have on Thursdays, my patient for that is an exam and profi if I have time to get through both. So that's my Thursday.
right, once I got home, I kind of forgot that I was supposed to be filming, but you pretty much were caught up of the day until like 7.30 p.m. once I, honestly 7.45, when I got back to my house and then I grabbed my keys, got in my car and picked up a carry out from No Thai. It's like Thai inspired, so I got a fried rice and a pad thai. That way I had dinner, lunch, dinner tomorrow with a little bit more variety instead of just getting one dish. But I have to study the rest of the evening, look at some Quizlets for endo for probably like 30, 40 minutes, like I'm capping myself out because that class is pass fail and that is a final tomorrow at 8 a.m. And then tomorrow at 1 p.m. is my other final that's graded in implants. So I'm gonna study that for more like an hour, an hour and a half, but it's already nine o'clock and everything today was interesting. My 11 a.m. patient did show up for the profi, pretty smooth and chill. I have that patient scheduled to come back in July because they want nine and 10 to be kind of adjusted aesthetically. So they have some restorations there now on the facial that are just like stained and chipped a little. So I'm either gonna like put new composite down, smooth them out, something like that. And then 2 p.m. I was supposed to assist someone and there was actually a medical emergency that happened at the appointment before with the same patient so they ended up having to go to the hospital everything turned out okay but in result i did not assist that person anymore because their patient was in the hospital so i ended up assisting a different classmate who did really need my help they were doing their first crown prep and ended up having to do a core build up because there was an existing restoration there that was pretty brittle and not a sound restoration like it definitely wasn't composite we're thinking maybe like a fotac or like rmgi or something that just like wasn't very sturdy to be the base underneath the crown so he ended up having to take all that out was kind of close to the pulp kind of stressful fill that up with a better core material like comp core and then refine the prep put on the temporary crown i was only there for half of it because that took one appointment to kind of get it prepped and then the patient came back at five o'clock to do the rest of that temporary crown process and impressions but i had my own patient at five so i had to say goodbye to that classmate and wish them well with a second appointment and then my five o'clock just an exam and cleaning they recently had an exam with the d4 that graduated so it was really just an update exam we have to do an exam on everyone that we see even if they've recently had one just because we're their new student dentist to kind of update plan is what the exam is coded as and it's free for them so that's good at least that we don't charge them and then i did a profi and which just means cleaning, and applied fluoride varnish, and got back here, like I said, around 7.45 after I waited for the bus for a little bit. And now we're here at nine, so I'm gonna study. Probably gonna be a little bit of a late night and not a ton of sleep, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is, and I'm hoping to get some stuff done tomorrow in between endo and implants, more time to study, maybe work on our implants assignment from last Friday. It's digital implant design on the computers, so I'll try to get some clips of that if we do it. And we will jump right into Friday. Hey, it is Friday. I don't know why I'm smiley because it's so early. I got up at 6.30, it's 6.55. I just brushed my teeth and started packing up my backpack. I wanna be out at the bus stop around 7.20. That way I for sure get on the 7.30 bus and get there in time for my 8 a.m. final on endodontics. I think I told you this class is pass fail, so we'll see how it goes. The only reason I'm vlogging right now is because I don't think I told you how yesterday's midterm went and fixed pros. I got a 19 out of 25, which I wish there was more questions for it being like a midterm exam, but there wasn't. I do understand all the ones I got wrong except for one of them. I don't really agree or understand, but I'm glad that I like learned and know more what's going on, but I wish I got a better score. I'm sure you all can understand that, but it's fine. We'll get through it. We'll pass the class and everything will be okay. That class is graded, so that's why I wish I got a better score. But we'll go through Friday, have an exam, have a big break where I can study more or work on the homework assignment for that class that the second final is in. And then after the final, that's one to two, we still have a lab session, two to potentially five o'clock. Usually it only takes like an hour and a half to two hours, but we don't know for sure. So I'll be there all day today but it's okay. I'm looking forward to the weekend and going to 
my good friend's wedding in Traverse City, Michigan, which is like more northern and it's beautiful there. And I'm just really excited to celebrate her. So I'm looking forward to these being done and ready for the week to be over. Planet Fitness. I still have my like $10 a month membership and I haven't been using it at all because I go to bar all the time but I can't go to bar tonight because I'm going to the school-wide bar crawl that like kind of welcomes the D1. And they start orientation on Monday so this is like the Friday before their orientation and that's when we always do the bar crawl but I never got one my first year and we didn't do an official one last year either all because of COVID so I'm excited to go. I'll show you guys my outfit later before I head out and then probably end off the vlog then because we'll be heading into the weekend. Before I show you my outfit, I wanted to tell you how exams went. I don't have my final, final scores. So I will put on the screen how they turned out, but I felt like endo was super hard. But if I have to retake it, it's not a huge deal since it's a pass-fail class, you would retake it and then pass the class. And then the implants final actually felt like okay, not amazing, not terrible. So I assume maybe like a B, but we'll see. Alrighty, this is our class shirt. It's like a spin on the MTV logo. Each class of the dental school wears a different shirt for the crawl. And then I'm just wearing biker shorts. These Adidas white sneakers. And these biker shorts are from Aerie. I really like them. So this is the final look and the end to this week of clinic and midterms. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>